history is kind of a funny story. I started here in 1997, hired me as the mechanic. They couldn't change a battery. So I came in as the mechanic, got involved with grounds when there was no mechanic work to do, come out and mow, rake, and just tried to stay involved and learn the trade on both sides. We're here at George M. Steinbrenner Field in Tampa, Florida. I'm the director of grounds, Richie Anderson. Major League Spring Training is what we're, you know, I like to say I'm here for. After that, we go into the Tampa Tarpons, low A rookie ball, 150 games, 75 games at home. We have fantasy camp, we have Woodback Classic, we have the college, we play, we fix, we practice, we play, we fix. We have dinner under the lights, circus, wrestling, we have whatever they choose to put in here. And I'm expected to fix it all. Here we have three fields, we have two full fields and a half field. Field being built in 96, it went through a renovation in 99 immediately because it had some issues. We went all the way to 2010 and I learned and I learned, so I decided to take on the renovations on my own. Celebration is, is a choice that a lot of people have, I like it. Buccaneers had it and I was convinced to go look at it. It was the going grass then. We put it in in 2010 and uh, have ran with it ever since. Field got to be close to 30 years old this year. We did a complete renovation, total tear out, 30 inches deep, drainage, new irrigation, pushed 6,000 tons of sand left and right. We laid the grass, this is new grass from Solid Solution Celebration, and uh, one, it'll slow down when it gets cold, so the mowing stops, you know, when the, when the temperature changes. Two, it's got great dark green color. It recovers well uh, up and down the sidelines where we have a lot of stress. It grows fast, so you gotta, you gotta be able to control it. I can speed it up or I can slow it down. So Celebration's got deep roots, roots well. It's really a good grass once I've learned to perfect my craft at it. Baseball is a funny thing for me. I hardly ever have any players say anything about the grass. Field played well, smooth. We try to, we do our own laser grading, we do our own top dressing. We do every entity in house. So if we have a problem, we attack it that day or the next morning. So if we're doing our job, no news is good news. If they want something different from what I'm doing, they'll tell me. Spectators, you get nothing but comments from them. Hey, is that carpet? How do you stripe it? Why is it so green? Man, I wish my yard looked like that. I mean, spectators are the ones that'll come down and, and when we're groundskeeping, they'll be hollered, hey man, grass looks great. You know, they don't know what it takes. They don't know what it's really like down here on it. We have to take care of this grass every day. That's why your yard at home can't look like this. I'm not there every day. If it's got a problem, I'm seeing it. If it has an insect, I'm seeing it. If it has a fungus, I'm seeing it. If it needs top dressing, I'm doing it. I try to keep it just like, you know, like a day, any day you walk out here, if it's uh, somebody giving a tour or somebody's playing on it, we treat it like it's, it's a game day every day. So we get, we get a lot of good praise on keeping the place up, keeping it tip top shape, and people seem to like it. They love the Yankees, so I'm proud of what I do. I like for people to see what I do, and it's, uh, it pays off at the end of the day when we come out here and look at this green heaven, and everything's good. We, we, we love our job.